Oh, my hair right now is the most real thing I've ever shared on this channel. I love this cereal. It's called Three Wishes. This is the honey flavor. But look at the ingredients. Chickpea, pea protein, tapioca, organic cane sugar, natural flavors, and monk fruit. That is what I like to read. Melcadamia. If I ever showed you guys this, but we got this mirror right at the end of our staircase. We loved it so much that we uh, bought a second one. <laughs> Is this not the most extra thing you guys have ever seen? So we bought the same mirror, flipped the hooks on the back of the mirror upside down because we wanted it to sort of mirror the little detail. What a sexy little staircase vibe now. I don't really know why we're doing this to ourselves, but we're gonna go on a hike. I think partially it's because we can at least take our masks off when we're hiking because there's pretty much no one around versus like neighborhood streets. Wish us luck. <laughs> A rabbit. <laughs> Jeez. day in Los Angeles this year so far. It is really, really hot. <laughs> if you guys remember way back long ago, I started propagating one of my pothos plants and this one upgraded to soil. This one also later upgraded to soil and they're doing so well. I can't believe that this is actually surviving with no drain hole. I'm just really careful about how much water I'm putting in here and just making sure that it's not gonna start drowning the roots down here. We've got a second stem that started growing as well as this pot. We've also got this vine that just has crazy long roots. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to pot both of these vines into this one just because I think this half head is really pretty. I don't have any soil, I don't think, so I'm just going to use the soil that we have here. Hopefully that's fine. I feel like we're about to get really messy. For a while now I see you, see me, see you. I don't ever want you to leave. All right. <laughs> Ta-da! Looks pretty good to me. I won't be offended if it dies because I've never done this before, so. Hi. <laughs> the outfit that I'm wearing today is from Fabletics. You guys know that every single month I choose different pieces and I think my outfits this month have to be my favorite. I feel like I say that every month, but the colors, the patterns, they are so freaking cute. You guys know I'm constantly trying to go outside as much as I can and if I can't, then doing any sort of stretching or Pilates or yoga at home really helps to just kind of kickstart my days. The set that I'm wearing right now is so gorgeous. I love the shape of the sports bra and I love having biker shorts, especially in this heat right now. My next outfit is super cute, totally the same vibe with the green and the pattern. I love the stripe down the middle and the thicker waistband. I feel like it really accentuates your waist and just looks super, super flattering. And then my last outfit is a little bit more on the simpler side. It's all black, but the bra itself is so cute. The stitching on it just adds a little bit something extra and makes it look super chic and classy. If you guys like any of my pieces for the month or you wanna shop on your own, I will obviously have the link in the description. And if you want to become VIP, as you guys know, you can get any two bottoms for just $24. You'll also get 50% off everything else and free shipping on your first VIP order. So all of that info will be down there as well. And lastly, thank you Fabletics for sponsoring today's video. This has been my office lately, right in the dining room, working on my Mac from 
2016. I don't even know. Maybe I got this in 2015. My laptop, which is what I have been using every day for the last two years to edit everything on, just randomly stopped working two days ago. I didn't drop it. I didn't spill anything on it. One day it was working. The next day it wouldn't even turn on. I spent the whole day on Apple support, talking on the phone, doing all of like the codes that you try when your computer is not turning on, researching articles, watching YouTube videos about it. And finally, we found a place that accepts walk-ins. And so within two hours, they were able to diagnose what is wrong with my computer. They opened everything up in the back and apparently one of the chips that powers the logic board, it's essentially like your computer. It's all the data, all the settings, everything. All of that was fried and broken because the chip had opened overheated. I guess it was so hot that if someone were to touch it, it would burn them. Then I proceeded to ask if I could just put my computer in the fridge. The look he gave me was a big fat no. <laughs> so basically I have lost everything that's on this computer. I do believe there are services out there where you can bring in your computer and they can sort of like figure out a way to pull the memory and data out of your computer. I'm talking like going to a place that isn't an Apple store. I have considered this, but I actually don't know if there's anything on here that I would kill to have. I know that costs a lot of money to do. The thing that Apple support recommended I do is just have this shipped over to Apple because I have Apple Care. They're just going to replace the logic board for free. So I will essentially have like a new computer, but it's just going to be in the same body. The reason why I don't think I need to go out and find someone who can like pull the data from here is because for the most part, I had a lot of stuff backed up on my iCloud. Luckily, in terms of footage, I am pretty like temporary with how much footage I keep on my computer. Basically, when I work on a video, I plug the card straight into my computer and put all the footage into a folder on my desktop. Then I bring it into Final Cut Pro. I edit the entire video. And then once I'm done, I delete all the footage off my computer. And if I decide that that footage is worthy of saving, then I save it on an external hard drive as well as the final version of the video. I know a lot of people edit through an external hard drive, so the Final Cut project is not even on your computer, it's on the hard drive. The only way you can edit the video is if the hard drive is connected. I don't do that because I only work one video at a time, two max. I didn't think that it would ever fry my computer. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe a YouTuber is gonna reach out and text me and be like, hey, you're doing everything wrong. You need to start editing through a hard drive. The only thing I'm gonna be losing is all of the plugins that I have for Final Cut Pro, all of like the fonts that I downloaded. Photoshop is just an account, so I can just re-download that to a new computer. Like there are things that will be annoying, but I'm definitely not like crying over the fact of like losing something very valuable. I'm just gonna sell this for however much it's worth and I already purchased like a new laptop that's coming on the way It's gonna be faster. There's gonna be more memory. It's everything is just gonna be smoother and better I think every time I hold back on getting upgrades on some sort of technology device I always end up regretting it. It costs a lot of money But at the end of the day, this is literally my job and when something like this happens And I have a video that I want to get up and I have a sponsored video due You start to panic when like the one thing you need to work Work isn't working so I'm just sort of like setting myself up for success I'm getting a better faster computer it's on the way I'm gonna time machine back that up so I'm gonna get a new external hard drive that I keep connected and basically I think it updates like every hour anytime you do anything different I'll basically have like full backup of my computer I don't know Phineas was trying to teach me about it I honestly don't know I feel like this is something that I need to bug like Alicia Marie about I feel like she has everything situated and figure it out. But yeah, that is what's been going on, the latest and greatest. It's all good. Do they cut it in half, put it in half or no? No. This, on each of these is a full avocado. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's pure, man a new and exciting addition to our quarantine lifestyle has been teaching ourselves how to surf. Out of all the things that you can do right now in terms of sports, just being able to do something with 
one friend or just with yourself. I feel like surfing is on the safe side. You're very, very socially distant because you do not want to be close to anyone while you're surfing. The first wetsuit that I bought myself is a spring suit. I think that's what it's called, where it cuts off here and then it cuts off like pretty much like shorts, like halfway down the thighs. My skin was so beat up and raw, like right on my knees and my upper thighs. It just keeps scratching my skin. So I needed to get a full body suit and I'm so excited. Let's put her on. Guys, this thing is so hot, I'm dying. I feel like an incredible miss. I feel like a superhero. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what do you think, Peach? Do you like it? No opinion? Got it. Has this been an action packed vlog or what? Sometimes there's just not enough going on to vlog about. For the last, I guess, two weeks, I have been doing a... <laughs> I've been doing a bunch of reading, which is very exciting because I'm quite embarrassed about my lack of desire to read. I feel like this year especially, I just have no excuse and I really want to get into the habit of reading more. The first book I'm reading is Americana. It's a fiction love story. I'm a sucker for a good fiction book. I just love diving into someone's life and it's about this Nigerian woman who moves to America to go to university. Right now I'm in the part where there's like a lot of backstory and it's telling us about how she met her like high school sweetheart and in the book she like moves back home. He's already got like a wife and kids. I really like the style of her writing. It's really funny and one of the things that I've really enjoyed about the Kindle is if you don't know what a word means you can like hold down, tap it, and then it shows you the definition. The other book I'm reading is nonfiction definitely falls under the self-help category. It's called The Confidence Effect. There's something really satisfying about reading two books at the same time. It's sort of like giving yourself options because they're both so different. This book has been really refreshing to read. There's a lot of stuff in here that I've definitely read about before that isn't like anything new to me, but it kind of just talks about the importance of having confidence as a woman in the workplace and in your personal life. And it talks about like collaboration and networking versus socializing. It just really covers like all the basics and it's very empowering to read. I've been highlighting and just underlining and circling so many things. When you run into really truly confident people, you feel it because they make it about you, not them. I loved that. That really spoke to me because I really do feel like whenever I have interactions with exceptional people that just ooze confidence and seem so comfortable and secure and just make you feel really good. I feel like those are the people that are always just asking questions and seem really interested and don't make it about them because they don't feel like they need to validate themselves or prove themselves to anyone. You don't learn anything from talking about yourself. Those are the two books that I'm reading right now. I really want to pick up a book about nutrition and health. I've just recently had the desire to do more research about what vitamins and supplements I should be taking every single day. I just definitely feel like I'm not doing everything that I could be doing to optimize my health. I've definitely seen like book recommendations and I actually want to ask you guys if you have any recommendations. I've heard great things about how not to die. I've also heard good things about ketotarian. Do you guys have any book recommendations that have to do with nutrition, supplements, things like that? I think that would be like a really fun read to start after I finish this one. I'll see you guys for a new video very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>